question with North Korea? Sure. Uh, sort of as these meetings are happening, um, North Korea has been sort of demonstrating increased aggressive posturing with this these small missile tests and also with the decision earlier this week to charge the two Americans that they currently detain. First of all, do you have any update on the status of those two Americans? Um, any more on what their health was the last time the Swedes were able to meet with them or uh, whether they've been, they've been able to meet with them this week? Well, there have been no uh, new meetings. So the last meetings uh, by our Swedish protecting power were ones I think we updated on a couple of days ago. Um, that was with Mr. Fowl on June 20th and Mr. Miller on June 21st. Um, it's important to note that those meetings were prior to these reports of uh, the charges. Um, so uh, to my knowledge, there hasn't been an opportunity to discuss this with them specifically by our uh, Swedish protecting power. Um, in terms of uh, their health, obviously, we're always concerned about the health and welfare and safety of U.S. citizens. That's one of the reasons we uh, seek to have close contacts and have consular access, but I don't have any specific updates or new concerns to express uh, related to their health. Do you have any indication why these charges are happening now? Because it seems the one man was in custody since April. Well, we, again, have seen reports of the charges, uh, but I don't have any uh, separate confirmation or additional details on them at this point in time. And then also, um, between that and the, the missile tests, um, some experts are coming forward saying that they indicate that North Korea is frustrated by not being sort of more on the U.S.'s radar, more on other countries' radars, that it's it's not a priority in people's foreign policies. Does that, is that an analysis that this building shares and is it affecting the way you kind of go forward in your policy towards North Korea? Well, I think there's a shared concern by the United States, by other countries in the region about uh, the bellicose rhetoric and the threats posed by uh, North Korea. And we're certainly concerned by the reports of yet another round of provocative weapons uh, launches, the third in a week. Um, these launches are intended to unilaterally heighten tensions in the region. Uh, they'll not provide North Korea or the North Korean people uh, with the prosperity and security it claims to seek. And it's long been the case that the ball is in North Korea's court to change their relationship with the international community. Uh, it's not in ours, it's in their court, uh, but clearly actions like those of this past week uh, don't help them take steps forward in that regard. Can I just follow up on that? Um, in the case of Mr. Miller, the reports are that he sought asylum in North Korea or um, he, that he uh, tore up his visa up to the country upon entering and said he wanted to stay there. Is it your uh, understanding that he wants to come back here or does, that he wants, doesn't want to? Or Do you have any details on that? I just don't have any more details to share in either of these cases. But you are still seeking, your official position is that you're seeking mm -hmm. him to be returned to Absolutely. the Absolutely, and we're also seeking uh, additional consular visits okay. through and our then, protecting power. Okay, great. And then one more on the, on the summit. Um, it's, a lot of people are noting that this is the first time a, a Chinese president has visited the president of South Korea before visiting, paying an official visit, visit to North Korea. Are you encouraged by this as a sign that China is sort of moving away from North Korea and perhaps a little bit more willing to put diplomatic pressure on them? Well, we've had a range of conversations with China over the course of the last several months or, or even years, I should say, at this point uh, that we have been here, uh, that the secretary has been here, and uh, they have played a role in uh, pushing uh, North Korea to take more helpful steps forward. Uh, but I don't want to analyze further the order of visits. Um, I'll leave that to others to, to analyze. Sure. I guess what I'm trying to get at is do you detect a, a shift in the Chinese position toward a greater willingness to work with you and other partners in the region to put pressure on North Korea? Well, the Secretary has spoken to this in the past about uh, conversations that he's had with Chinese leaders about uh, the threat we face and the concerns we have about uh, North Korea's rhetoric. Uh, but I think that's, I would point to that more than the order of visits. Okay. Um, is the United States seeking China's help to get the detainees out of the DPRK? I just don't have anything else to read out for you in terms of our efforts. Thanks. Uh, go ahead. Regarding the talk between Japanese government and North Korea, did the U.S. have any report from Japanese government? And how does the U.S. think about the possibility of Japanese government is going to lift, lifting up the sanctions on North Korea? 
Well, we have certainly been uh, in close touch uh, with our Japanese counterparts on this and a range of other issues. Uh, certainly they are the experts on uh, the discussions that are ongoing. Uh, I know there have been many reports about what they may or may not do. We don't have any independent confirmation of that. I don't believe any public announcement has been made, so we would refer you to the government of Japan uh, for more information. We continue to support uh, Japanese efforts to resolve the abductions issue in a transparent manner. And as I noted at the top, we, of course, maintain regular consultations uh, with Japan on issues related to North Korea, security in the region, and uh, a range of uh, issues we uh, have shared concern about. And what do you think about the possibility of lifting up the Japanese original sanction on North Korea? Well, again, I'm not going to speak to a hypothetical. There hasn't been any announcement made. Uh, obviously, I don't have any independent information here about uh, that particular report.